timeless collection. Where do I start? My name is Chrissy Cella. This is my story and how I founded Honor Active. I'm gonna be taking you through the highs, the lows, and complete transparency. Because you are the reason Honor Active even exists. You are the reason I am here today sharing my story on this platform. I wanna take you through absolutely everything. When I sat the team down, I said I wanted to make a collection that really encompassed a 360 mentality when it comes to working out. The mentality that you can look good whilst working out, but working out goes deeper than the way you look. So Timeless to me was a concept where I wanted to create really staple pieces that women could wear inside and outside of the gym. And the thing is you weren't able to do that with any other collection at Honor Active. So when you compare it to classic or effortless, it's very predominant lifting based whereas timeless is something that you can wear all day long and it can help any form of movement in your life come to life so when we think about the person that we are building a collection for essentially in the ideal world you always want to build a collection for as many bodies as possible right because that's really what you want to do if you're going to talk about being inclusive you have to consider how many styles how many fits how you grade things and how they truly do offer something for everybody. With that being said, it was really important with Timeless to offer really, really timeless pieces. So with our leg and design, simple, sleek, tone on tone logo, which was super important because we normally do white logos. So we wanted everything to be really sleek to the point where it was more about how it was made rather about the branding. It was the first time we're offering a zip through jacket that was form fitting with zips. It's the first time that we're offering a zip through vest that can also offer a little bit more support if layered on with, with the correct bra. All these things we thought about when we were creating the collection and over time, we will add more and more new items and new styles to really help cater for as many bodies as possible. But for me is I want someone to look at Timeless and go, okay, I can wear that. Okay, I feel like I would look good in that. Okay, this item was designed for my body shape. Why did we call this collection Timeless? For me, wellness and moving our bodies should be a timeless act. Society puts so much pressure on us to rush progress to find quick fixes to look a certain way in a short period of time and for me I cannot stress enough how I just want every woman to understand that her health and her wellness should not have a time frame on it it shouldn't have a six-week challenge to it it shouldn't have a four-week shredding program to it and then that's all you do wellness and the way you feel should be a act that you pursue every single day to build consistency in a timeless manner so that's why I I felt the, the word timeless was so fitting to this collection because it encompasses everyday movement, not just lifting in the gym. It encompasses the purpose of the brand, which is longevity and helping women understand that they shouldn't time frame their progress and their health. And it encompasses that the pieces that we created are timeless. Like you will never get sick of the styles that we created within this collection. Okay, so... I received the sample for Timeless, but what they did was, this is the design that we wanted, not the pocket, but they've switched the fabric. The fabric's really nice, but the design is still not there. So as you can see here, the line is just too long. So we need to bring it down. Timeless actually took nearly two years to create. We didn't actually manage to get it right for a number of different reasons. The shape is not right, it needs to come more down here. It's too high, which makes the bum look really long. So we need to bring the design lower. The length is still very cropped. The waistband is better, it's just the back of the design we need to fix. So. Number one, we still wanted women to feel really confident and one of the staples and one of the reasons Honor Active is known today is because we love to make women's curves pop and make them feel really, really beautiful when they're training and performing. Because there's this huge misconception that a woman that lifts 
and wears a scrunch bum legging, doesn't know what she's doing in the fitness industry. And it's like, actually, we do know what we're doing. We do know how to lift. We do know how to move our bodies. We just like to look good whilst we're doing it. And that's definitely something I've always wanted to like overcome in the industry, to let a woman dress a certain way, be proud of the way she's dressing, but also go into the gym and absolutely dominate being in there and feeling so empowered. So we wanted to add a scrunch bum within a cut and sew fabric. Until this day, we'd always done seamless and seamless and cut and sew are completely different productions, different ways that they work. Seamless can be ultra unpredictable and because it's in a knit tube, you don't know what you're getting until the item is out. Whereas with cut and sew, there's so many different fabrics that you can choose from. You don't know whether it's the right fabric or the right, wrong fabric. Basically, cut and sew is different to seamless. So let me explain it really briefly to you. This is classic seamless 2.0. So Seamless essentially is created in this big machine. Basically, you can have single knit, double knit. So basically, depending on what knit you want, you put it into the machine, you have a specific code, specific design, and this massive tube makes it. And then all they do is just, they cut around it. It's always unbleached fabric, then you bleach the fabric. So hence why it's called Seamless, there's no seams. So that's why if you look at Classic Seamless 2.0, we added a faux back seam, because you can't technically add a back seam here. You can of course like knit, but it wouldn't be the right seam. So then with Cut and Sew, it's different types of fabrics that come together and are stitched together. So for example, you'd have like this body, this bit, the arms, they all come together. There's maybe three or four bits of fabric and then the workmanship knows exactly where to stitch the stitch lines and where all the fabrics come together. Hence why this is called cut and sew and this is called seamless. The differences between seamless and cut and sew is seamless has a lot more give and a lot more uh, tolerance. So adding a scrunch bum to a seamless garment works better in my opinion than adding a scrunch bum to a cut and sew, but it ended up looking just so wrong and it just wasn't sitting right. So the biggest battle I had was creating a cut and sew legging with a back seam that still enhanced the woman's curves whilst being comfortable, wearable all day, and also fit for purpose. And I wasn't finding a cut and sew legging that was doing that. It was either it had a front seam which created a camel toe that I just want to avoid and I horror don't want to have that problem. Number two, it always felt like it was just too high rise. So it ended up being just all this fabric. Number three, it never looked good around the glutes with cut and sew. I found that that was one of the biggest, biggest challenges. So what we did was we played around with the gusset level. We play, played around with how it was constructed overall. So it's still able to go up your bum and enhance your curves, but it's still ultra comfortable because of the fabric that we use. And then the other problem that we faced was the waistband. Because we didn't add an elastic band around the waistband because we wanted it to feel like second skin, the issue we had was the waistband could fall. So we had to do a number of different trials to bring it in a bit more, grade down possibly. How do we make this band stay up to last you all day and still be comfortable? And so nothing's digging onto your waist. There were so many minute challenges that we had to face that like it took two years to get to where we are. So at hindsight, it looks like a super simple legging, but really the construction of everything and the way it sits and the way it molds and the fabric that we use took us two years to get to where we are with us to have the ability to launch. She caught me red-handed. Oh. Oh, the colours. Oh, fuck me. I didn't realise the colour. Oh, my God. This is stunning. Oh, this colour's stunning. It, 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 looks really it, looks, it looks really nice. But it looks good. It looks elevated. Oh, wow. It's so nice. Doesn't it? I love that colour. That's a great idea. Do you know how comfortable this bra is? Like, I've never worn a bra this comfortable. Like, it just feels like you've got nothing on. Yeah, it's so nice. Sorry, did we say bomb girl? <laughs> <laughs> Little. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop. Hey, can you just tell the design detail lines? When it came to the Timeless campaign, when I sat with my art director, I was like, 
look we both looked at each other i told her the purpose of the collection i explained like why we built this collection and we almost aligned we almost had the same vision nothing is better than working with people you can truly collaborate with and create magic with. And we both said to each other, like we envision this being outdoors. We envision this being away from a gym setting or workout setting. And the reason being is because timeless should be free movement. Movement that makes you feel good. Timeless wellness, timeless health. We wanted to do it in a beautiful setting, really open space, clear mind and clear mindset. And it was something that we've never done before. All of our shoots are in the gym, are movement based or are quite posy. This was completely different for us. It was my favorite shoot that we've ever done simply on the basis that it was completely out of our comfort zone. But the shoot and the imagery and the videography just came out insane, like better than what I could imagine. So let's think about things that people, or a relatable aspect to everyone. Hey you, the person who, the person who always, that always seems to take care of everybody else but themselves. I think that's a big one everyone does. The person that puts so much pressure to have everything figured out. When they don't realize that society does less enough for us. Let's touch on the basis of people taking care of other people but themselves. Pressure that we put on ourselves. Or maybe use the word timeless at the end. I need to, I need to figure it out. But a soft, a gentle reminder that once in a while, you just need to take a step back. Move your body and be present with yourself. Because whilst everything around us is fast paced, our well-being should simply be timeless. Very good. Do you like no, it? Nice. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The product team has to like it. <laughs> and it'll be like, I come out of a car and I'm like getting my backpack. And then like, whilst I'm walking, I'm passing another girl and the color will change of the okay. product. And there'll be two friends who are like, on the corner of a rock just talking whilst that whilst he moves away or be like a girl on top of the mountain during sunset like journaling or something <laughs> you're a poet in the making the way I wanted our community to feel when they saw the first campaign of timeless and the first pictures was peace mindfulness and calming and I feel like this sometimes is heavily missed when it comes to wellness. Especially if you're a gym girl, it's always driven by aesthetics that we tend to forget or we don't speak enough about how it truly makes us feel and how it elevates our life. When I was looking through the imagery and the campaign, I felt like calm and I felt like I have a lifetime to make a change. There's no rush to look a certain way. That's, that's how I felt when I watched it. What is it like living with a team in the middle of a desert to create a collection campaign, new collection campaign? What What is it like? What was that moment like? So for me, it was one of the best experiences in my career, simply on the basis that when you are in an environment outside of your comfort zone with your team, trying to bring magic to life and this vision to life you are all in it together and you all work as a solidified unit you see completely different levels to each other and you challenge each other in, in completely different ways and you start to realize that the people that you have hired and the people that you are working with truly believe in what you're putting out there and they just want the best for your brand. I mean, if you hire right, that, that is. And I truly believe that with the Honor Active creative team, we've definitely hired right. Purely on the basis that the team probably believe in the vision just as much as I do. And the fact that we got on so well, we overcame any challenge, we persevered, we had so much fun, to me just says everything. And that's why the campaign is even more important to me and even more special because it was created with incredible people. And I think that's really special. Of course, it's challenging at times where we were working under extreme weathers. <laughs> we were all wearing white. <laughs> no, no one had a sunstroke, which is great news, but everyone just like ensured everyone was okay. And also the way the models worked, which we hired for the shoot were, was incredible. They were just truly champions. And the good thing is we realized that in extreme heat, Timeless is really sweat proof. So we didn't see any sweat patches on Timeless, even though we were in the middle of Joshua Tree in like, what, 90 degree heat. 
to be honest, that was a win as well. When you are working with your team abroad, especially because it's funny because I'm also their boss, which when you're living with people in an Airbnb and also your boss, it's like, it can, it can feel awkward, but it wasn't awkward if that makes sense. Like, I don't feel like anyone felt like they couldn't be themselves around me and feel comfortable around me. And it was really funny because I meal prepped for the entire team, breakfast and lunch. And the reason being is because we were literally in the middle of the desert and we couldn't just get random food and everyone wanted to eat healthy or just eat decent meals. So I was meal prepping smoothie bags the night before with some of the team to make sure everyone had a fresh smoothie in the morning. And then when we came back from the desert, we'd all have like lunch ready so no one had to stress about it. And the team was like, are you sure you want a meal prep for 16 people when you're gonna be also directing and shooting? And I was like, yep. I wanna make sure the team eats right. Yep, as nice as I wanted to be, I'm not doing meal prep again for the team. Love ya, but no. Honestly, my advice as anyone that is running in their own business or starting their own company is to truly nurture their team as much as possible. Understand that they're there for you and your vision. Show as much respect as possible to the people that are around you and also, and try your very best to hire right because what Joshua Tree taught me that regardless of how difficult the situations are, if you have the right people on your side and you have the right team, literally no obstacle is too big, no hurdle is too big, you will overcome everything together. So it did bring the team closer. I did throw the team in it. I just basically was like, hey, in three months time, we're all going to LA to shoot this campaign. And they were all like running around like headless chickens like what are we doing next? Oh my God, panicking. But they absolutely smashed. It. Really proud of you guys. Yeah! 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 Yeah!